Okay, so we're talking about asynchronous JavaScript and some of the problems that are just rampant on the web as, as we look at things like YouTube and Facebook. So here's a really great example, right? I have uh, my YouTube subscription page, and as I scroll down to the bottom, they have a very nice button here that says Load More. And if I click on the Load More, I will get a bunch more videos that are then loaded into my queue. And I can continue doing this until I hit the bottom, which at this point I have now done. So that's really nice, and I can scroll through these, and then I decide, you know what, I want to watch this video. So I click on this, and then I jump back. And when I jump back, you'll notice the button's back. We've just reloaded the page. We haven't re restored any of this, retained any of the state that I that I had. It hasn't retained any of the data that I had loaded to this page. And so I basically have to start over again. Another great example of this is Facebook. If we look at Facebook and we scroll down to the bottom quickly, especially, you'll see that we get that little loading bar. Facebook does a better job of just automatically loading stuff, but as I continue to go and go and go, we have this nice little bar. And then I want to find out about what's going on with a friend, so I click on their link, and then I jump back, and now we are at the very beginning again uh, without having scrolled pages and pages and pages, right? So now I have to reload all that data again. Uh, I am of the opinion that if we're going to do this, we should do it right, and for a user experience, the user should, be, when they hit the back button, are expecting to find exactly what they saw a moment ago, uh, and we just are not doing that right now.